Rachel and today I am back in my basic style and we are going to plan the week ahead. We actually are going to plan the week ahead this time, it's Saturday and for once um, I am on track and we're going to use this kit that I've had in my collection for quite a while but I do believe that it's still in the crafty planning shop. This is the I'm Watching You kit and it is a serial killer or just general murder true crime uh, themed and I thought that I would use this because I've been watching The Staircase on the telly and it reminded me that I had this kit. So I've got quite a bit here, I've got some hair headers which are really pretty. I've got some icons which I probably won't use in here. They're a little bit small for this planner. I usually save this size icons for my Hobonichi but I do have some deco which I will use and I have some date dots. Not sure if I'm going to use these. Might go with a bit of red foil if I've got some and then I've got the kits here. We have got nine full boxes. We've got our date covers, some functional and some washi. We've got some weekend banners, some more functional, some checklists, some paydays and things like that. Lots more functional boxes. We've got our checklist boxes and a large tracker. And then I do have two extra sheets of washi um, that I think the shop owner very kindly put in for me because I know that she watches my videos and she knows that I um, use more than one set of washi. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that is what we are going to do. But first, I just want to say a quick thank you to somebody. I got some happy mail to my PO box and I had it shipped to me and I got it today. Um, I have looked for this lady online but I can't find her to send her a little message. So I'm going to say a little thank you here. So this is for, uh, let's make sure I say your name correctly, Luana Vandermeed. Thank you so much for your, I tested the pen. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending me something. That is super sweet of you. Um, I am going to read the little note out because it is nothing personal. By the way, if you send me mail and you don't want me to give you a thank you on a video, do just pop that in. Um, I always read the little notes first and open it to see what's in it. And if there's anything personal in the letters, I won't read them. I didn't read the last one out, but this one seemed okay. Love this card. So it's just a little thank you. It says, hi, Rachel, huge fan here. Been following and watching since a few months before the pandemic. You've no idea how much I look forward to your vids. The insanity that's been my life since. Haha, <laughs> drama aside, your vids are very lucky forward to oh I think we all had a bit of drama during the pandemic didn't we goodness me found you the pretty frictions that existed you made my day you absolutely made my day I'll tell you a funny thing in a minute though I hope to post some ASAP I think you popped them in there are some frictions in here I hope to post some ASAP through a few knickknacks that I thought you might like hope you and the family uh, only the best and I'll continue to look forward to your plan with me's love Luana P.S. I reopen the package and put in the moon washi Oh my God, <laughs> I don't use them and you like moons. Understatement of the year. I love moons, thank you so much. Super kind of you. Um, so I got the cutest little card from Simply Gilded. Isn't that beautiful? And then a little pouch. This I think is for an A5 planner, which I don't have. However, I'm always looking for little pouches like this to put things in that I want to use um, in Plan With Me's in a video so I don't forget about them. So this was super useful, thank you. And the fact that it was filled with, number one, my favorite thing in the whole world, tabs and pretty friction pens. But I'll tell you a funny thing, Sarah's like this. Like, oh, this isn't working, that's a shame. And it literally took me, no exaggeration, about 10 minutes to figure out that it was like a, a slidey clicky situation. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I opened it and I think that my normal refills, in fact, let's try because I nearly peed my pants when I saw this. This horrible tribal thing that you guys know that I've been hating for ages. It's going to fit. It's going to fit. You see? The answer to all of my pen dreams. Thank you so much for that. That's super thoughtful of you to get me a pretty one. Um, two in fact so I can put one in my micro and I can have one that I use in my videos so I will use um well actually I'll just swap the inset out in that and I will use them in my next video I've got tabs as well which I love very pretty colored tabs a few sheets of those thank you and then <laughs> a box of washi some of it not even open this is really kind of you to send this to me it's also very pretty Paige has already had her head in here and told me some that she wants to share with me so I'm going to make her some little washi cards she wants some of this one I've never seen anything like this one by the way there's no label on it um with which sort of brand it is but let me just see if I can if I just hold it over there how pretty is that I've never seen anything like that before so yeah, she's going to share a bit of that with me. Like I said, I've got lots of washi cards. I'm going to make her some. I have loads of Simply Gilded um, washi and a ton of moons. When I opened it, this one was on the top and I literally like gasped. How pretty is this? 
isn't that just stunning so yeah thank you so so much for sending me that that is super super kind with you i feel like i say this every time i just want to say to everybody I'm, I'm not asking you to send me things if you want to send me something like a card or a letter um please do feel free to do that do not feel like you have to send me goodies i very very much appreciate them and this box in particular was just amazing. The sticker kit that I got last time from Misty and the green washi that I got last time. Do you know why I love you guys? It's all stuff that you know that I love. I just, yeah, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. But please don't ever think that it is expected for you to send me things. But anyway, and also, how cute is the little, it's like a sticker. I'm going to try and get that off, I think. It's a little sticker. I wonder if it's come off like a washi tape. Very pretty. Anyway, let's get on. So... We are planning the week. I am ashamed to admit that I don't think I've touched my planet since the last plan with me that I did. Um, been a bit busy, but I'm going to finish it off because I just love this washi at the bottom. It just looks so beautiful. It makes me think of like fun and holidays and I'm not that far away from my holiday. Going on holiday with H, you never said. Only a thousand times in every video. Um, so it's making me feel all like tequila, tequila. <laughs> anyway let's get on so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my two days to a page and we'll just divide it in the middle and then we will go from there so let me get my my horrible friction pen out that i no longer have to um deal with what did i even do with that thing oh it's here this will be the last time you see this hideous thing um, and let's figure out where I need to make the lines. Um, in between 15 and 14. Oh, my tummy just rumbled. I'm not hungry. I had mac and cheese and broccoli. And I had mash, which I know is a bit weird, but the, I'm a vegetarian, the rest of my family are not. And they were having sausage and mash and broccoli. So <laughs> I didn't intend to have um, mac and cheese. When I went to the shop... I was going to sort of buy, in fact actually, if I'm honest with you, because I'm common and you know me, I was going to have veggie fingers <laughs> with my mash and my broccoli, but when I went in the co-op, they have like a little section which is um, stuff that's going to go out of date, and on the orange ticket bit was a vintage mac and cheese from the luxury range, and I'm not that posh that I buy from the luxury range uh, at full price, I'm afraid. It can be hella expensive, um, but I did pick this one up, and it was really yummy as well actually. So anyway, my point to saying all of that was, I'm not hungry. Also had some um, chocolate eggs as well afterwards, which was unnecessary, but very nice. So yeah, definitely not hungry. I'm not sure what I've got to put in here this week. I know we've got a school trip. Um, do I want to wash it at the top or at the bottom? What was I doing previously? Um, both on that one. Hmm... Got any more? Any more? Any more? Both on that one as well. Do I have enough washi for that? One, two. Oh, I do, don't I? Because I'm only doing, yeah. I do have enough, so we can do that. Let's do that. Let's do the washi. The washi that's on the bottom is from a different kit that I had. Like I said, I think the shop owner was super sweet and just threw me in some extra washies. And she must have just made this sheet for me because this is a washi that goes with a different kit that I've got. Um, so these do not come with the kits but the kits you get loads in them i'm sure there's different options of how much um you can buy in the kits but the ones that i've got i think i did buy like the full version you get lots in them so yeah i've been watching the staircase so if you're not familiar with that case and you're just watching the hbo um sort of reenactment of it i do recommend that you go on netflix and watch the original documentary that is filmed by a french filmmaker it follows along the case of michael peterson like as the trial is going on um it's about 12 episodes i want to say but it's a really good watch it's one that i struggle with it's a case that i struggle with you know um and also something else that you want to do oh, i don't want to give too many spoilers away but if you do watch it and then you watch the hbo thing if you go on to a podcast app where you watch a podcast listen to your podcast and you find the true crime brewery podcast about the staircase right at the very end jill talks about a theory that is going around about how what actually happened is that um they live in durham i think that's carolina is it california oh. 
<laughs> I think it's Durham for sure. I don't know where that is. I'm sure some of you lovely American uh, people will know and be able to let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, there's a guy who's got a theory that at that time of year in that place where they lived, there was quite a lot of baby owls. And it is common for them to sort of fly around at night time and not attack, well, swoop. Yeah, I suppose you would say attack. And the theory is that she um, got swooped and attacked by an owl. And then when she went back into the house and tried to go up the staircase, that was when she fell with an um, already injured head. But anyway, yeah, good case. I enjoyed listening to that one. I, I actually am going to re-watch the documentary about it because as I'm watching the TV show about it, I'm thinking, I mean, it's been a couple of years since I watched it, but I am definitely thinking that the TV show is not very true to the actual case and that it is quite dramatised, which obviously it's for TV, it's going to be. Um, but yeah, interesting case. So yeah, that's what has got me, um, has got me putting this true crime kit down. There we go. Okay, so on this side we're going to do our this week and then we're going to do, how did I do? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What did I do? Um, I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we'll do it that way again because I think that was the way that I preferred it and I do believe in here, yep, I get it this week as well. Um, and I'll tell you something else that I haven't said. How are you all? Are you all okay? I hope you're all doing okay. So it's Saturday night here for me. I think um, maybe about 9 p.m. Possibly something like that. Been watching the Formula One. Really looking forward to the actual race tomorrow. Obviously, I've not yet watched qualifying. I think it's actually on the telly now, isn't it? But Chris is putting uh, Paige to bed. So we'll watch that when, when he comes back down shortly. And I've done this. So what else do I have to tell you? <clears throat> not much else really not much else has been going on Chris has done a full week at work which he's just not used to so we had a bit of a lazy day today because he was quite tired um, he normally does a full week's worth of hours but he normally does them in three days so working nine to five you might think that that would be easier for him because it's um it's more spread out but actually he's just used to doing it the way and he would rather he would rather do the three days and the nine to five I mean for two days last week I didn't even see him he came in he had his tea he was like I'll go and put Paige to bed and then I didn't even go upstairs until about 11 o'clock and tell him that he'd fallen asleep in Paige's bed and not got up and then uh, he moved into uh into the other bed and then I just came downstairs and just messed about my journal and and that so yeah, it's kind of um, broken him a little bit this week. And it's a shame as well because he's probably going to get used to it. And then he's actually switching into another role um, where he's going to be doing days, some weeks, and then the occasional week of nights. Now, I don't think I could do that. I could work nights, but I'd need it to be all nights, all the time. I couldn't flip to days and nights and then do days and nights. And I don't know how he's going to manage um, so we'll, um, I mean it is what it is, that's that's what his new role is and he knew that when he applied for the job. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So maybe, <laughs> maybe he's going to spend a lot of our Bulgarian holiday just asleep by the pool, but never mind. You can't fall asleep by a pool in the sunshine when you're on holiday, when can you? Oh, I'm so looking forward to it, I'm so looking forward to it. We've been watching... Um, videos online on YouTube of our hotel. I'm not going to say what our hotel is. Not that I think anybody's going to come and stalk me to Bulgaria. Um, but, you know, just in case. Uh, but it actually looks amazing. Loads to do. Loads of things outside for the kids to do. I'm not one, not judging. Just going to say the line that I always say when I go to talk about my kids. Not judging anybody that does do this. You do you with your kids. I'll do me with my kids. Um, but I'm not somebody that will leave my kids in um, in kids club or anything. I always have like undertones of Madeline McCann in my head. Um, so yeah, that's not something that I do. But there seemed to be a lot of stuff to do that was for the kids. But like round the pool and with us. Do you know what I mean? So we're quite looking forward to that. Should be really good. Um, I was hoping to sort of be a bit more restrained and try and do some exercise videos, lose a little bit of weight, get my summer bod um, 
already. But I, oh, do you know, I, I love food too much. That is what is wrong with me. Oh, I love food so much. Me and Chris are definitely foodies. So we, we do drink, but I don't drink. We're not people that drink at home. Again, if you do, that's fine. Just not me. Um, I'm more of a, and I suppose this is a bit more unhealthy, but going out and getting absolutely off my head and then, you know, not drinking again for six months. I don't go out very often, but if I go out, out, I will get drunk. Um, and then most likely I, my friend will bring me home. My friend, last time we went out, she brought me home at like half past 11 um, because I'd been sick outside. <laughs> Am I really saying this? <laughs> because I'd been sick outside the place and then I disappeared and I was just on a bench. <laughs> I was just led outside on a bench. She came to find me and then um, she brought me home. At the time we still had the baby monitor. We weren't actually using it because she was way too old. Um, but we still had it and Chris got it out. I was downstairs in the living room on the floor with a bucket. Um, and Chris put the baby monitor on me. And when I got up in the morning he said that I just kept wailing. You don't love me. You don't care about me. You've left me on the floor. <laughs> You've left me on the floor. Yeah, that was a thing. So anyway, so to sum up, <laughs> I don't drink very often. Food is my thing. That is our thing. Chris is the same as well. He's quite into fitness and stuff. Um, he goes to like football three or four times a week and he was going to the gym and he'll go running and stuff. So I think when you're somebody that's into fitness, you don't tend to drink um, really, do you? Same with like smoking. If you're somebody that's into fitness, you don't tend to smoke. So the diet thing for holiday, hmm, it's kind of not going well. But I did try on my clothes the other day and they all fit. I bought some new clothes and they fit nicely. I've got another Sheen order coming. Did we talk about this? Do we call it Sheen or Sh Shane? Shine? S-H-E-I-N. My friend said she calls it Shein because it's literally how you spell it. Well, that's two words. Anyway, I've got another order from them coming. Um, so hopefully that stuff will all be good. And yeah, I've still got three weeks to go. So maybe I can pull it together and just... I don't want to lose weight, actually. I don't want to lose weight. I just want to tone up a little bit. That is what the thing is. So I'm not finding any red foiled stickers. I thought that I had red foiled date dots from Final Fabulous. Maybe I made that up. So I am going to use the date dots that came then with this kit. Because there you go. So why not? So the 9th. Do we have a race after Miami? Did you see um, two things that made me laugh about Miami? Number one was... Seb wearing his underpants over the top of his racing driver's thing to make a point about the stupid underwear rule. I mean, to be fair, actually, it's not stupid. It's for safety reasons, isn't it? But I do quite like that he has a little sarcastic, um, just sense of humour, really, and he does things like that. And B was Lewis Hamilton and the jewellery. He was um, wearing an excessive amount of jewellery. I swear he had like seven chains around his neck, all of his earrings in, obviously his nose ring. But what made me laugh was he had three watches on his um, on his wrist and somebody in the comments put, one's UK time, one's US time and the other's hammer time. I, that, that, I lost it. I absolutely lost it at that. That got me. I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, yeah, so looking forward to a good race. And haven't they done up like the race um, stadium? really nicely. It looks like a party. So that is something that we're looking forward to tomorrow anyway. And then I think we're going to go and see Nana and Brian and I don't think after that we've got any more plans. I actually need to do some washing. I swear, like, I've not done any less washing than I've done this week, uh, than I've done usually, but I've got more washing. Actually, what it is, it's him working more days, isn't it? Because he doesn't have to wear a uniform in this job, whereas he was wearing like a doctor's uniform in his last job, or the overall scrubs, whatever you call them. And he doesn't have to in this. So what is happening is he's going to work in his own clothes, and then when he's coming home, it's quite dusty where he's working. He's, he's in the um, the medical records bit. So he's coming home and getting changed into like another set of clothes because those clothes are dusty. So actually that's why I've got so much washing. So I think then, do you think it's fair for me to make him do the washing tomorrow? <laughs> right? Can do his own washing, can't he? Well, I'm just kidding. I'll do it all. It's fine. My washing machine's quite good. I can put it on a fast wash. 
and it still cleans it quite nicely. Still quite liking leaving a little gap between the headers and the um, date covers. I don't know if you've noticed that that's what I'm doing there. But I am liking that. Right then, let's get down a line to um, just section off this bit, I guess. And then this can be sort of appointments and and then a to-do list can go on the right. I need to ring the doctor. My hand, do you remember when I first was filming videos last year? Well, I wasn't first filming, but, and I was wearing that, um, that thing on my hand, that elasticated glove thing on my hand because my hand had been doing a really weird clicky thing. Well, my thumb is hurting. Um, my mum has this thing where as she's got older, her hand produces more cartilage and so she's got like lumps and bumps on her hand and she's always said to me like, I think you'll probably get this. I think I'm getting it because I don't think it will pick up on camera but I said to Chris the other day, my thumb is really, really hurting and then, I don't know why, we were just watching the television, this one is like normal and I was just doing that which is like completely smooth and then when I do it over here, there is a lump there it's not going to pick up on camera it's only little but it's very sore and i was like oh no i think this is the thing but my mum's like well my mum's 20 years older than me so she's going to be 60 this year and she only like started with it maybe like five or six years ago well i'm 39 i'm 40 this year i feel like this is not fair you know <laughs> i should have some time yet but anyway i don't know what um I don't know what long-term like problems that can cause but we'll see anyway I don't know I mean this is just self-diagnosing they might just say I've hurt my hand a bit but I don't know we'll see anyway right we can ban it up at the top let's start off then with this week and I think there was two of these and I want to use yep yeah, there is over here there's a red one but I don't want to double up with the red so let's start off with these Oh, actually, though, I normally put these down here, don't I? When I'm doing this layout. Hang on. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit weird because if I put these over here, I'd need to find something to go underneath. There we go. We're getting a bit of a chunk. Can you see? I love it. Is there anything more satisfying than a chunky planner? Are you team chunky or are you team slim? I'm definitely team chunky planner. I love a good chunk. Let's get this down for meal tracking then. So we've gone a bit colour blocky over here, but it's okay. I don't mind. Then I'm going to get my icon book. I'm going to see if I've got um, like a knife and fork icon that I can put on. I think somewhere I've got some clear Have It Right Designs knives and forks. Knives and forks, is it knives and spoons? I always think of Caroline, Princess Honey, when... I'm looking for knives and forks because it just makes me laugh how she always says why is it always forks and spoons she's right why is it we eat with a knife and fork not seeing any in here but i think i do still have some in my foiled icons folder should still have some in here oh i forgot i had those Right, what do I have? So I've got that one there, but I think I might have some others. Well, I've got this one. Let's use this one. It's a nice big one. Okay. Um, let's put it at the top here. Why not? Hopefully, when I check in with you later on in the week, there will be some healthy things written down on there. But don't hold your breath. Um, okay, then next. Shall I put a checklist box down on every? Because I have enough. And also, do I have any to-dos? I have enough headers. I could put to-dos over them. Let's put down our washi as well, our uh, four boxes as well. So I'm just going to do the usual down in the bottom left corner of all of the sections. That's not going to leave me enough room then is it for a, might do if I just push it, pushing me luck. I love this kit so much. 
I think this one might be my favourite. I think I've had three kits which have been true crime themed from Crafty Planning. I think this one is my favourite. The other one that I've got, it looks like, I'll show you actually, because I always wonder about whether or not I should just laminate it as like some kind of dashboard. But the full boxes on this one is just loads of serial colours. So I wonder whether or not I should do that. But anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. I'm not keen on that box if I'm completely honest. So I might skip out on that one. Not that I'm not keen on it, but it's my least favourite. So we'll see. Yeah, I've got enough to skip out on it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, our full boxes are down. Now then, let's do headers because either way, whether or not I'm gonna fit a checklist box on, I do still want to, um, to header for a to-do and I'm gonna alternate whichever one I've put down there for the to-do here. Oh my goodness, my tummy just rumbled super loud. Hopefully it didn't pick up on the camera. <laughs> I've recently said this to you guys that I wish that Happy Planner would just do a script book and also that I wish that they would just do um, the florals that they do on the clear paper. I love them, they're so pretty. I don't need the rest of the, um, the stickers in the book, especially the full boxes because they're not standard vertical size, they're obviously Happy Planner size. So I think they are possibly the same width, they're definitely not the same height. Um, so yeah, it's a shame that they don't do that. I wish that they would. Um, and then I think to just go along with what I've already done, I will put down a grey one over here, but I won't be putting down a today. We can put a remember or an important. What else did I have on here? Let's put a remember. Put a remember down on it there. And I think that we will put, let's see whether or not we're gonna fit these boxes on. And also I want to make sure that I want to fit them on every single day. Oh, I think we're gonna be good. Let's do this. Oh, we're gonna get a bit of overlap with that header. Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, let's let's be smart here and let's just cut a bit of that off. Doesn't have to be too much and it won't line up with the header, but I think it will look better. I'm gonna just try and get it up with my washi with my tweezers, but I do have undo if I need it. Ha! Ah, not too shabby. Do I need to do that on all of the days? I can do that on all of the days if that's necessary, but I think some of them are gonna fit better than others. I'm not sure why. My cack handed sticker putting down skills possibly. Yeah, we'll need to do it again on that one. I'm not trimming very much off there, you can see that. It's not gonna to make too much of a difference to um, my writing space, to be honest. Perfect. Let's try on the next one. Oh, I love how this is turning out already. This one seems to be okay. <laughs> Who knows why? This one's going to need a trim. Oops, someone next door seems to be having a coughing fit. Apologies if you can hear that. There we go. 
that one's okay as long as they're not touching I'm good with that this one's going to need a trim as is the one underneath I think actually just to make my life easier I'm just going to do it on here and then just makes it a little bit easier There we go. See if that was okay. Oh, perfect. I love how this has turned out. It kind of looks like, like a police file. <laughs> don't you think oh dear I'm gonna feel like I'm solving a case right then let's see what we've got to put down I definitely need to put down um Paige's school trip let's put a bit of deco down to get this used as well just gonna put it a little bit all over the place and see maybe I could put something in every every like bit mm, no I don't like that one I'll just put that over there for now um, maybe I won't put something in every bit then maybe I'll just do a bit here and there how about that um, I've actually still got that other full box that I didn't end up cutting down I'm going to put that one on here I won't be able to use that with a different kit because obviously it's very specific to this kit with the blood uh, spatter on there as well um, let's do a little blood spatter over here and then that one doesn't really look like um, blood spatter these like they just look like someone's like spilt the ink from the fountain pen which would be a disaster but I don't think that would uh, count you as a serial killer um, right then so let's write down medication Let's write down skincare. I can finally start doing my skincare again this week after not being able to do it for a week because of my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm really dry above my eyebrows as well. It's so annoying. I can put like moisturizer on the bottom of my face, but I couldn't put it on my forehead just in case it like slid down into my eyebrows and my eyebrows fell off. But they have all very disgustingly peeled off now. Um, so, so they will grow back beautiful. And I can finally sort my forehead out. So let's do Paige's school trip. So that's down there on Tuesday. Now I don't think there's anything else whoops, to go on. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else. The groomer is the next week. I feel like there's something that I'm kind of missing, though. Is it a birthday? I don't think so. Um, but anyway, I want to write on here that I need to sort out school trip clothes. She's to wear her school top, but the bottoms and some wellies can be, like, just scruffy that we're not bothered about because she's doing... Um, she's going to the farm um parent pay is done this week there's nothing else that i need to pay for with regards to the kids for school um i need to do my covid passport i haven't yet done it and it definitely needs doing what else do i need to do hmm i need to go to the post office i know that that is it then let's just have a look at the race situation um no we are not having another race until the 20th when we go to barcelona so that's it i love how this has turned out i'll show you what i've got left i've got quite a bit left i've got the washi that doesn't belong to this kit that goes with the autumn kit which i will save for that i do actually have some washi left 
for this kit which is a thicker version of that but I'm going to put it with the other true crime kit that I've got because that will definitely go with that. I have got left no full boxes. Ah, that's not the full boxes. That is the checklist boxes, but I don't have any full boxes left. Maybe I've thrown that one already on the floor. Oh, I do. I have that one, which I don't like. Um, yeah, I'm not fussed about that either, so that can go. And I have got my icons, which I will use in my Hobonichi probably, or I'll filter in some my reusable sticker book to use in there. I've got some deco left. And I have got some functional left. But for now, that's going to be it from me for today. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I love you forever. And I'll see you soon. Bye.